Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Light. We're here to talk about the subject of toxic light and that is the light that comes in through your windows. So this is a window that I've been assessing and I'm going to show you what's going on with this window right here. This is a single pane of double glazed low E glass. Now the window's open so over here we've got two panes of double glazed low E glass and over here we're actually looking through ultraviolet transmitting plastic. If I pull the camera back you may be able to see the difference in light between these windows. So on the right hand side is the ultraviolet transmitting plastic. As you can see we get the clearest and most colourful light coming through on the right hand side. So I've actually found these very interesting beads and these beads actually show what goes on with ultraviolet radiation. So this is the single pane of low E glass and you can see that we've got some slight colours have shown up in the beads. They're typically white when they have no ultraviolet light. You put them in ultraviolet light and they change colour. So this is what they're doing with the light from the single pane of low E. Let's see what they're doing with the light from the two panes of low E. So there they are. They're not very colourful at all. So we're going to go over here and we're going to see what's going on with our ultraviolet transmitting plastic. And there they are. That's what they look like under ultraviolet transmitting plastic. So this is why I advocate ultraviolet transmitting plastic because the light is almost like outdoor light and the ultraviolet radiation is essential for irradiation of human cells. So I'm going to show you what happens when you take these from low light into high UV light. So we watch, we'll see them change. So they've gone very, very vivid. And that's the ultraviolet light and the same thing happens with your cellular system. If you expose your cellular system to ultraviolet light, then changes occur. And it's very, very similar to the reaction we saw in these beads. So the radiation of the human cellular system by ultraviolet light is very, very important in human health. If you want to find out more about this subject, you'll find it in this book. It's Toxic Light by Stephen McGee. Hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.